Bike Campers, Dave here. We're going to start off where we left off last time with dropping Goomba. We had one dropping. Um, we want to make the game a little bit more interesting, so if we add a few more Goombas, we're going to come up with a problem, and that is right now our Goombas are all going to be dropping at exactly the same time. So we're going to look at adding a random delay. A random delay will let us make sure that when one gets to the bottom and goes up to the top, it's going to wait for a random amount of time before it drops again. So if we have a few of them all doing that, they're going to start cascading at different times, makes the game more fun and interesting. So let's just jump right in and get rolling with that. As you can see where we left last time, if you find your code on your Goomba or whatever character you're using, uh, you've got a forever loop saying change Y by minus 10. So that's going uh, forever, dropping it down the screen if it gets to the top. We've got slightly different code this time from last time. This is the Y is less than minus 170, that less than block you'll find over here in operators. That's just checking the position of the Goomba and seeing its Y position if it's too low down the screen, getting it up to the top. Last time we used the edge test. This is just a different way of doing that exact same thing. Um, and then it resets to the top randomly along the X. Perfect. This is the problem with the game right now that I was talking about. So they all drop, they all have that same code. When you copy a character, duplicate it, it copies with all its code, so they're all randomly moving around the screen. It's looking pretty good, except they all come down in those sheets like I was talking about, right? So that's not quite right. That's not really what we want to have happening. So this is why we're going to be adding some delay. Let me get rid of those last two that I added. And I know that if I go into control on the left here, I've got this wait command. And if I have that wait command go in here, as you'd expect, the Goomba goes to the bottom, gets to the top, and then waits one second before dropping down again. So almost what we want, we don't want to always waiting for that one second at the top. You want it to uh, have different amounts of time that's going to wait for and that's going to be another random. If you remember where we found that random block, that's over here in operators. Um, so we go pick random 1 to 10 is the default again. We don't want to wait 10 seconds. 10 seconds is going to be a really long time. Uh, let's knock that down to 3 and sometimes maybe we don't want it to wait at all. So I'll say 0 to 3 seconds. That's a nice little range. So it's waiting randomly between 0 and 3 seconds. You can see it's happening already. Uh, up there in the game. Now there's one slight little problem with that. Right now the game's a little bit easy because I see the Goombas stuck at the top. I know where they're going to be dropping down from. So there's one little bit more of code that I'm going to add to make it a little bit more sneaky where those Goombas are going to be dropping. I'm going to make them invisible for a split second. So two more uh, blocks that we're going to need. We're going to find them over in looks. If you scroll down in looks, you've got show and hide. Hide will make the Goomba invisible. If I put this hide into that block there, you'll see that as it dropped off, it's gone now. We can't see it anymore. So we need to have it show again after the three seconds, the random zero to three seconds. After that's done, we want it to show up again. And you'll see now it drops off, goes invisible, comes back when it's ready to drop again. So now we're ready to add as many Goombas as, as we want. Now the game has gotten hard. All right. So we've added some more uh, features to this game, made it a little bit more random, made the gameplay a little bit more fun. Now we still need to start making some consequences. If we're hitting Goombas, what's going to happen next? Well, we need to have a win, a lose, something bad's going to have to happen. We're going to have to do some collision detection. Those are going to be the next videos. Hope to see you then. Thanks for watching. <laughs>